Even the exterior of the Tomei Gallery itself is a work of art. And now, this quaint art gallery located halfway between Las Lunas and Berlin on Highway 47 in Tomei is about to host a show of traditional santos. Today, we're meeting with some of the artisans. So here we have, on, actually, we have Carlos Otero, who's with us today, and he's a retired Spanish teacher and an expert on the culture and tradition of the Santeros. Amanda Griego, who is a young emerging retablo painter, and Ralph Sena, a jewelry maker and metalsmith, and actually he's been one for uh, quite some time. Carlos, let's start off with you. What, if you can explain to our viewers, um, what qualifies a santo, and, and what really is a santero? Well, a santo is actually a, uh, translates to a saint, but uh, this is the iconography that, uh, that depicts the lives of these um, uh, heroes in our past that set a standard of morality for uh, people throughout the different eras in our history uh, to follow. And so uh, when we're looking at the images of the santos, um, um, most of the time uh, they all have their attributes that define them. Uh, each santo has a way to uh, uh, depict uh, the stories, the symbolism that um, that makes that santo special to our people. Right, and that's wonderful. You said it really nice, by the way. So I appreciate that definition. That really makes sense, and it's a it's really important, especially in our culture. And we'll get back to that in a second. Amanda, now tell us about yourself, and uh, would you consider yourself a santero? Um, yes, I would. Um, I'm pretty new at this. Mm -hmm. um, I've been doing it for about four or five. I guess six years. Um, I'm in the Spanish market. I just got into that. So this summer will be my first year doing it. Mm -hmm. um, along with painting, I am a full-time student. Right. So um, I'm pretty busy. Awesome. Yeah. So now is it Santera or Santero? For you, um, does it does it change, the tense change in Spanish for... I guess it does. It does. I guess <laughs> I would be a Santera. So you're a Santera, there yeah. you go. So Ralph, now you've been in the business for uh, 55 years. You've been doing uh, metalsmith, uh, jewelry. Um, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm a self-taught uh, jeweler and I've been uh, just creating jewelry and, uh, and artwork for uh, a lot of different customers. Uh, I just love my work, and, and uh, it's not work to me. I, I enjoy it so much. Right, and how did, when did you find out in, in, your, in your journey, when did you find out, oh, you know what, I can do something with my artistic ability to, um, I guess, speak nicely of these saints or these, these wonderful people that are having an impact on our life? I think primarily the, the, the development of my craft is, is faith-based. So, you know, whether it's a cross, uh, the image of a, the Blessed Virgin, or or just some kind of a of a even any of my work that's if it's contemporary, even in fact, it's still faith based, and I draw on that that uh, that attachment to uh, to my faith to go ahead and produce the piece. Right, and I think that's something wonderful that you can actually it's something that you truly believe in, and then something that you really love doing. You can combine the two, and that's yes. that's why we get some wonderful things. Now, Carlos, tell us about this tabernacle that you have here. <clears throat> Well, this is a uh, uh, work in progress. It's not completely done, but it's a donation to the Squires, which is a youth organization that is mentored by the, by the Knights of Columbus. And so they do community work, so it's really special. So, so why is the, the Santo so important in our culture here in New Mexico? Well, um, it's, it's always been a part of our history and our tradition. And uh, um, when we look at some of these people that led those the exemplary life, um, I mean, we appreciate that. Uh, they said, like I said, a standard of morality for people to follow. And, uh, and so for that reason, uh, we like to look at their stories, uh, listen to their, so their stories and their song. It transcends the visual into the right. historical, the sociological, the, and the spiritual. Right. Now let's look at one of your santos, that, one of your pieces here. Explain to us what, what that is, if you don't mind, please. Okay. Um, that is actually the Santo Niño de Atocha. Um, it has the three rosettes uh, representing uh, uh, Christendom. And uh, the Santo Niño de Atocha is one of the more popular of the santos. It's the Holy Child Jesus. Mm -hmm. And there's a story, a long story, but I won't go into a long story now. But, but uh, it's something that our ancestors had a deep devotion to because they uh, would pray to the Santo Niño to keep them safe uh, during the many wars. He used to, to help us uh, as we uh, 
uh, as we travel as pilgrims, mm -hmm. you know, the pilgrimages that we make as Christians right. uh, to get closer to our Lord. Right, and so, wonderful. Well, excellent. Now, Amanda, let's, let's take a look at some of your work, actually, here, if you can explain to us uh, what, what we're seeing here that's coming up right here. That, is, that actually reminds me of uh, Michelangelo's Pieta. Yeah, I got it from that. My pictures, I don't come up with on my own. I usually get it from previous images because um, I want mine to represent what they are correctly and I want them to be... Um, and, and you do that with what? Is it with paint? What's, how, how, do you, how do you create that? It's um, natural pigment um, watercolor. That is awesome. That's yeah. beautiful. And that, that's another one that you did? Yeah, that one's The Seven Sorrows of Mary. Very nice. That's one of my recent ones. That's excellent. So this, all this will be in the gallery at the Tomei Gallery? Yeah, those and, and a couple others. That's beautiful. Very, very nice. Thank I have you. to say, very inspiring. Thank and, you. And Ralph, um, where do you draw your inspiration for the work that you do? Well, sometimes it's uh, from a commission that a customer will have me do. And other times it's just from my belief in, in my... Uh, in my faith. Right, and let's address this up on the screen. What, what, what is that, Rob? That one in particular is a, uh, is a trophy buckle that I built for a customer. Uh, she wanted it built for her husband. It was a special occasion. He is uh, obviously a cowboy, he wanted, so he loves horses. And I went and did something else and developed a spur in there. It's all hand built. That's, that's amazing. Let's see the next one that's coming up right here. That is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. That's a uh, charm bracelet that has all of the charms that I've designed. Uh, the Risen Christ cross is probably the featured piece on that on the far left. And that's, uh, the cross is usually a very painful image, but in this case, the Christ has risen. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's more of a joyous cross for me rather than the traditional cross with the corpus hanging. Very nice. And this one right here? That's a commissioned piece that I did for a customer that I had known for about, uh, probably about 40 years. And it was to celebrate the 60th wedding anniversary just this last summer. That's beautiful. And Thank what you. is that made of, by the, by the way? That's made with uh, very famous Caracol Lake turquoise, uh, freshwater pearls, and sterling silver. That is wonderful. Now, you. if you're interested, the Tomei Gallery is located at 2930 Highway 47 Las Lunas. Again, that's halfway between uh, Berlin and Las Lunas. It's open daily from 10 to 5. The number is 505-565-0556. The website is tomeigallery.net. Now, the Santero Show starts today at the Tomei Gallery, and it runs through April 23rd. There's an artist reception this Sunday at the gallery from 2 to 4, and we just want to make sure you all know about this because it's definitely a, a place to go. And we wanted to make sure to give credit and a thanks to Heidi Snell. She's the photographer who took all the pictures that we used today, and she's with Visual Escapes, and that website is visualescapesimages.com. Thanks to all. We'll be back.